Me and you on another adventure? We are. <laughs> You're in beautiful Oregon, boy, I'll tell you. What got you here wanting to do this one? Well, try to do that my own deer slam for North America. I want to get a uh, Columbian blacktail. And Craig, with fins and feathers, was booked. I think we booked this two or three years ago. Just looking for that little pin-headed blacktail that's just gorgeous as hell. Mm -hmm. Beautiful little critter. Didn't know how beautiful till this trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, to yeah. see them and be around them is like like everything you 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 have to just go experience it. Don't yep. make judgment or set an idea unless you've done it. And I don't think you should have an opinion on it. Unless, I agree. Unless you've done, done it, and yeah. you have a very good knack of finding the right people. And you definitely did with Craig and his group and this whole this whole facility here with fins and feathers is phenomenal. Comfortable, good food, good people. Just an enjoyable to be around, good vehicles, good trucks, good properties. All of it. Yeah. Just all the things that I think kind of gets overlooked or maybe gets, uh, no. doesn't make the headline, but in so many ways it makes the hunt. Absolutely does. I didn't expect to shoot in the first day because I don't normally do that. First time in the field looking at one mm -hmm. up close, nice forked horn, smaller forked horn, and then bingo, this guy steps out. And... A deer you can't pass. Yeah, you, can, you cannot pass. Yeah. We just pulled into the ranch. And we went about, well, I'm going to say 400 yards into the ranch and spotted a deer. And then over to the right was this deer. And her butt is working his way into a ravine. And as we go down into this ravine right here, there's this old car in the ravine. And look at that. <laughs> Big, giant, 4x4, four four, beautiful buck. What do you think, bud? This is nuts. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that, Craig, it's a world record for me. <laughs> it's a world record shoot a, for just about anybody. Shoot a, shoot a deer in the first 15 minutes of a hunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we hadn't been on the ranch for what? Five minutes? Glass the other side a little bit? All right, well, you see tip of his shoulder up, and that was it. Looking Dro at us. Dropped him right in his tracks. Well, then he fell into this little creek right here. This little ravine that I haven't quite figured out how we're getting him out of here yet, but. <laughs> I said, see that little white spot? He's like, yeah. He's like, see that one? He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, we'll we'll shoot some more footage once we get him up and see his head on him. But he's sitting in a nice big deep hole right there. Uncle Dick, he's got a beautiful Colombian blacktail in beautiful Oregon with your knife. So working wonderful. Thank you. Love you. It was it was a mixed emotion for me because I didn't want to shoot yet. Because mm -hmm. you know me, yeah. don't want to shoot yet. And then Craig was getting so excited over it, and, yeah. and, you, and you feel that adrenaline. Yeah. Once I saw the whole animal, he was correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like, wow. Yeah, yeah and that's a deer that uh, they have never seen before. Um, a deer that just showed up after the first sprinkle of rain during the season, and yeah, hey, you got to take some of the quicks with the longs, and so yeah, you, you know something. You, could, you, you couldn't have painted a cooler buck. And so for you to get him, like, it's just great. And then, hey, for what it's worth, it afforded you the time to be with me to got to see all that deal. Yep, yep. It's all special. Yep. Every bit of it. When things are hard to film on a hunt, traveling, weather conditions, similar environment, I strongly suggest whenever you stop to just film what's around you, around your feet and everything you can see in front of you, because it makes the most beautiful footage and it's the parts we tend to overlook in the moment.
When's the baby due? Soon. <laughs> oh, I think it's a gas bubble. <laughs> it's With all a gas pizza gas bubble. Pizza gas bubble. Abby's original. <laughs> right there, linguisa and olive. <laughs> and fart. Wrapped in Kuyu. <laughs> Talk about good fortune. We were there when the first batch of weather was going to hit during the blacktail season. So in between gaps of weather, we glassed this ridge and Brian, our guide, found a beautiful 3x4 kind of working his way down in this bottom. Now, for those of you with great eyes, can you pick this buck out without him moving? From our angle at 700 yards away, kind of looking straight down this canyon, that buck looked absolutely doable. Brian and I crawled down in there, got within 40 yards of that deer, and hunted all the way around him, 360 degrees at 40 yards for over an hour. And we never saw that deer. That stuff that he's standing in is well over head height. Craig was on the hill watching the whole thing, just going crazy that we couldn't see this deer. And by the time we got above him for the last time, he squirted out down the bottom and we never did see him. My hat's off to these blacktail. We called it quits for the morning hunt and on our way in, we experienced a whole bunch of hail and weather and we knew the evening hunt was gonna be fast and furious. What's up? It's snowing. <laughs> Snow way. Y'all, about four o'clock this afternoon, everything was on its feet. We had black-tailed does, Colombian white-tailed bucks. We had this really cool goofy horn buck that was running with a four-point, and everything happens fast, and yours truly has got a deer on the ground. After shot him, rolled down in that deep ravine, so we had to drag him back out of there. Give me that. Say thank you, Uncle Bud. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Once again, I got a little Uncle Bud generosity. <laughs> that would be my first official blacktail buck. We're with the Fins and Feathers boys. They have got it absolutely wired, dialed down here in Oregon. He's awesome. Everything I ever dreamed of, I had no idea we'd kill deer of this caliber just because I didn't know. Thrilled with this deer. Gracious and excited and honored to be in camp with you. Amen. Brian, thank you, man. Yeah, it was Lord. a true pleasure. Yeah. Super cool and it ain't even about this, but just everything that's gone with it, man. I can't tell you how, uh, how blessed I feel to be able to do this with you guys. And, Really, it's because of you, and you know it. So thank you. Let's pull his guts and eat him. Got it. <laughs> we finished out the night skinning and processing and all that fun stuff that I love so much behind the scenes. The next day, we found ourselves right back in the same ranch, and Caleb finds an almost identical situation, and we're taking trophy shots once again. Congrats, brother. Thank you. That is a rad buck. Been out here for the last couple days with uh, fins and feathers in some uh, beautiful country. We've had a hell of a time riding around and seeing uh, lots of deer and uh, was lucky enough to get this beautiful buck this morning. Heck yeah, man. Congrats. Thank you. That's big fun. Glad you could be here. Well deserved, super cool buck. Checking the box on the blacktail list. Yep. Hell yeah. Right there. 
Yeah. I think they're just the coolest deer, right? Live in just crazy country, crazy weather. Heads are all short. Or yeah, or stumpy, short, or Roman yeah. nose. Like everything about them is just a little bit like a, like a smaller version of a, like a mule deer. All because of these guys. Thank you for always bringing me along. Thank you for the generosity to have me here and let me pull that trigger. Be along for the memory and the story. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Well, I wouldn't either. Without you here, it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. Period. It was fun to have Killer Curtis with us, too. Yeah, it was. All right. Love sure. you. Love you, too, buddy. <laughs> Y'all, I love to come home, but I hate when the hunt is over. If you would, please remove your hat. I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for wonderful places like Southern Oregon. Thank you for new experiences with fantastic friends. Thank you for good weather, harsh weather, and everything in between. Lord, I praise you and thank you for new friends, fresh protein, and for bringing us home safely to our families. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.